hey guys welcome back and today I am going to teach you how to use Photoshop Adobe Photoshop so I'm gonna go through all the tools and how to Photoshop some things so first is the move tool and so if there's an image you can move the tool and then you can see on this side there there's the layers tab and if you press this you can create new layers and and then with those layers they'll be on top of each other and you can make them non-visible by clicking this by clicking the eye next to the layer you want to make invisible and then that's pretty useful you can also get rid of the background if you just want a blank background and so um, there's also this tool it's called the Marquise tool you press M and then you, when you it'll be normally like this and then you can make you can drag and then hold and then and drop it and then it'll select whatever's in the square you make and then there's this tool It's uh, basically a lasso tool except with lines. It's basically the Marquee tool, except you can make lines like this. And see, it'll select whatever's in there. And then there's the Quick Selection tool. I use this tool a lot because I need to use it a lot. So this tool is used if you get an image that has a distinct line around it. And if you want, and then the, if you just want to select a circle inside the image like if you have a picture of a coconut and then you can select the inside of the coconut with this tool you just do this around and then it'll automatically select whatever is in there there's also this magic wand tool it's even faster basically and it and it just bas it selects all the same color quickly in one click it just selects all the colors and with all these selection tools you can do a shift and then it, you can add parts to it so if you color one thing and you also want to add another thing just press shift and then you can color it in then there's the crop tool if you want to make your thing smaller then you just make you can just do something like that and then it'll become smaller this tool it's basically the other tool except you you can't edit it you just move it around basically it just makes frames the eyedropper tool i think most of you know what this is it just selects colors and then you can use them this tool i also use a lot so it's called the patch healing brush tool and you can also use the spot healing brush tool they're basically the same so with the healing brush tool it it looks at the texture from something close to it and then it it colors it in with the same kind of texture as is the part of the image you're trying to get so imagine there's like a piece of text that you merged with the layer you can merge layers and then they'll be part they'll be together so if you put text then you can't edit the text because they'll be merged together so this healing brush tool you can you press you alt and then you click on a spot and then once you do that then you'll be able to call, basically brush in places that um, the text was and it'll replace it with the spot you chose with the spot with the spot healing it does that without having to choose a place to choose a place and all it is <sighs> and then there's the brush tool and then yeah it's really you just uh, choose a color you just choose a color and then and then you can just color in like that And yeah, it's like a it's a normal brush and you can change the size by going up here and then changing the size up in here and the hardness. You can also turn it if your brush is uh, like a square. And then, but it it is an easier way. You can just right click. You press a right click button and then the menu just comes up. This is the stamp. This is the stamp tool which is basically it's like the healing brush tool except it just stamps in part of the image from another part history brush tool i don't use this often 
but it just fills in parts that were there before. So you can see because there there isn't much history to this image, it's just created. Uh, it would take parts from the older part of the image, older times, and then it'll just replace it with that. The eraser tool it just erases things that you made. Just erase all these lines. You can make it bigger and erase all of them. And then there is the, the gradient tool. The gradient tool, you choose, you do go up here and then you choose a type of color here, like this. And then, so you can choose one color at this end, one color at this end, or you can do it like this where it is one color at this end and one color like this. You can change the colors. And then, and then when you, and when you use it, it'll go, you'll, it'll be like a line like this, and it'll just color it in. The smudge tool, yeah, it's basically just, if you have a piece of, basically imagine a piece of paper, and then you just put your finger and just smudge it, ink all over it. It's basically that. It just warps the image. Also, if whenever you import an image, uh, I usually just go to the eraser tool and then click on the image and then I'll say this smart and then this message will come up right here which means that it just makes that it'll make it'll make it editable so then you just have to rasterize the object and then you can edit it how you want and so the smudge tool just smudges everything around and then there's the burn tool which basically it just makes it darker makes everything darker I don't know why it's like this logo, but it just it basically makes everything really dark. Has it dark? And then in in this menu, you right click on this, and then an outer menu comes up. Is the dodge tool, which makes it everything brighter. It's basically the opposite. And then there's the sponge tool, which basically which makes everything kind of gray. If it, it desaturates it. So now let's talk about the pen tool. So this is the pen tool. It's actually a very useful tool, but I haven't really used it that much. You can do, you can draw many lines, and then you can just draw curves, and it's it's pretty interesting if you know how to use it. I can make a video about that also, about just the pen tool. That's how useful it is. And then there's the text tool. You probably know. Yes, writes text. You drag, you drag, and make. A text box and then you just write things in it and you can change the color up here and then you see up here there's many fonts for Photoshop there are so many and you can also download fonts from this uh, app it's called type kit as you can see up here it's another Adobe product and then you can download a bunch of fonts and then there are also different languages and they're very useful if you're making a poster and things like that and then this is just the normal mouse you can do a normal selection like selecting lines like that and then and there's the rectangle tool which just draws simple rectangles and you can do all these options here and you can choose what to fill it in with this color wheel of things here oh you can see I made the font pretty big so when I was using this before I think I was seeing the font but yeah this is how it'll look like normally It'll just give some uh, dummy text, some Latin text, normally, and then you can just edit it, if you like. And then it'll just stay there. You can also curve the text with this. It's pretty interesting. And see, look at that. And then there's the, the hand tool, and it's basically just moving around, but it's not, my image is not that big. So if you, this is the zoom tool, this magnifying glass, and you can zoom in, 
And then I can probably use this hand tool to move around, like so. And to go un to unzoom, I think you, you just scroll out. And then yeah, you can go. You can also go up here and just press that. This is just to edit the toolbar. You can click that, and it'll show all the things in your toolbar, and you can add the things that you want to give. By just there's so many things, and they're usually just in sections. That's why they're all in sections. And so you can also choose the color down here is the square and then all of this here. Photoshop is a very interesting tool and it's very easy to use if you get if you get used to it. There are all these channels and layers and then you can choose the paths that you made. And there are these colors here that you can also put in them in swatches. Click this and you choose the color and you name it something. The swatches is basically just a place to put it, put all your colors that you need to use. They also learn and then if you want to learn more about Photoshop, then there's these videos, how to use all these things. There's so much about this. And then on the top, there's your preferences and your presets down here and you can scroll down and see down here preferences and if you press general it'll bring up it'll bring up this and then it'll show and then there's a bunch of options that you can choose and then so yeah that's photoshop and i hope you enjoy and if you like this, please like and subscribe, and share if you really want. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.